Dear students, in this class of hormone biochemistry and function, we will study about regulation of growth, growth hormone, and somatomedin. From where growth hormone getting secreted? So there is a gland, pituitary, in cell at sicca bone, bony cavity at the base of the brain. And it, this uh, gland is having two portions, uh, denohypophysis, which is also called as anterior pituitary, and neurohypophysis, which is also called as posterior pituitary. And in some animal, in between of these two portions, there is a zone which is called as pars intermedia. So anterior pituitary is basically having different kind of cells, acidophils, basophils, and neutrophils based on a different staining property. And they have different kind of cells which are responsible for the uh, release of different hormones and these hormones are uh, re stimulating different glands to release their own content or they are having direct effect on the body to re uh, to show their effect for example growth hormone it stimulates the release of uh, growth factor at the local tissue and this growth factor then cause the uh, growth of the, those specific tissues now this pituitary gland is having different kind of cells which are responsible for release of uh, different hormones human growth hormone is released from somatotrophs and corticotrophs release hydrocorticotropin thyrotrophs release thyrotropin stimulating thyroid stimulating hormone and somatotrophs you can see it is about 30 to 40 percent in the anterior pituitary and uh, uh, while other corticotrop is only 20 percent while other cell types are only three to five percent so that shows that the uh, growth hormones are of utmost requirement and they are released in uh, uh, good quantity by the somatotrophs and these uh, pituitary secretions are ultimately affected for release from the hypothalamic controls and hypothalamus uh, releases both kind of factors which are uh, kind of releasing and inhibitory hormones and they are uh, like uh, growth hormone releasing hormone uh, in our case which stimulates the release of growth hormone while growth hormone inhibitory hormone which is also called as somatostatin which inhibits the release of growth hormone now this growth hormone which is released from the pituitary gland under the effect of hypothalamus stimulates the different cells to release growth factors for example liver which is stimulate which releases insulin like growth factor 1 insulin like growth factor 2 and other cell secrete epidermal growth factor nerve, fa nerve growth factor and the epithelial growth factor transforming growth factor and there are other growth factors like platelet drive growth factor so these growth factor participate in different functions in the body like cellular repair and regeneration and the defect in the receptor of these growth factor can cause different kind of dwarfism or uh, apart from the growth hormone uh, lack of the growth hormone can cause dwarfism and receptor in the other kind of uh, or different uh, defect in the cascade of the of this uh, cascade uh, can cause uh, dwarfism different type of dwarfism we'll discuss in the pathophysiology now growth hormone which is also called as somatotropin it is basically released after the birth postnatal growth and it is responsible for the development of adult size and it maintains lean body mass and bone mass that means it is increasing the protein synthesis while carbohydrate uh synthesis is uh, increased but this is not uh, utilized for the energy purposes at the same time fatty acids are released for the energy purpose so that way it maintains the lean body mass effect of growth hormones it increases the protein synthesis in most cells of the body it increases mobilization of fatty acids from adipose tissue and increased free fatty acid in the blood and increased use of fatty acid for energy and at the same time it decreases the rate of glucose utilization throughout the body so overall growth hormone enhances body protein uses of fat stores and conserves carbohydrate and further growth hormone also called somatotropic hormone or somatotropin is a small protein molecule of that that contain 191 amino acid and the molecular weight of this uh, protein is around 22,000 and it causes growth of almost all tissues of the body that are capable of growing and it promotes increased sizes of cells and increased mitosis that means the, the cell will divide faster and these cells will increase in size so that way it increases the mass of the uh, body 
and it uh, also it causes the differentiation of the cells like muscle cells bone cells uh, all these cells will be increased in number so they will cause the uh, differentiation also on somatomedins so for the effect of growth hormone at different tissue there are different intermediates which are called at somatomedins or uh, for example one somatomedin is in insulin like growth factor which is uh, taking uh, uh, growth hormone role further it, this uh, igf is released from liver and uh, uh, some other tissues are also able to produce this and other there are other kind of somatomedins which are also released from the different tissues so there are four somatomedins basically and in the, they are named accordingly like insulin like growth factor is called as somatomedin c and uh, the pygmies of africa have a congenital inability to synthesize significant amount of somatomedin c so this you have to consider because uh, uh, this is not a lack of growth hormone but but it is the uh, lack of growth factor, insulin-like growth factor or somatomedin C. So therefore, even though their plasma concentration of growth hormone is either normal or high, they have diminished amount of somatomedin C in the plasma level, uh, plasma small stature. And same is the case with the uh, levy loran dwarf. So insulin-like growth factors, they are also called as somatomedins. They, they are produced in liver and uh, many other cells. And their structure is closely closely related to the insulin that is why they are called as insulin like growth factor so insulin which is made up of a chain and b chain intermediate chain is c so in this growth factor this chain is intact and apart from that there is also having extension of a domain a chain that is called as d domain d domain so this way uh, this is why it is called as insulin like growth factor so there are different kind of insulin like growth factor basically igf1 and igf2 take part in the uh, growth hormones message uh, translation or uh, message uh, uh, delivery so somatomedin c is igf1 it is secreted before birth and it independent at that at that time it is independent of uh, uh, growth factor growth hormone and after birth, it is stimulated by growth hormone and its receptor and mechanism is similar to insulin and its major role in skeletal, its major role in skeletal and cartilage growth. While IGF-2, it's, uh, it is having uh, its multiplication, stimulating activity and its secretion is growth hormone independent throughout the life and its receptor are menu 6 phosphate and its major role is in fetal growth now actions of growth hormone it stimulates the growth it is having metabolic actions and it also causes the uh, lactogenic act it is having lactogenic effects growth promoting actions it promotes linear growth increases the length or height of the body and uh, by uh, like uh, stimulating osteoblastic activity which converts cartilage into bone which we'll see how it is doing and it increases the bone mass at the same time it stimulates proliferation of chondrocyte in epiphyseal end plate of long bone so a regulation occur by hypothalamic control which is uh, uh, hypothalamus in this figure you can see hypothalamus releases somatostatin and at the same time, it is also releasing growth hormone, releasing hormone, and both are having an anti or a positive effect. So growth hormone releasing hormone is having positive feedback. It is stimulating the growth hormone release, while somatostatin growth hormone, inhibitory hormone is having negative feedback. It will inhibit the uh, negative effect on the anterior pituitary and it will inhibit the release of the growth hormone. While other factors are there, alpha to adrenergic receptor, GABA, ghrelin, grex, steroid, they all stimulate the release of the growth hormone, releasing hormone, and uh, somatostatin are stimulated by beta-2 adrenergic receptor, free fatty acid, glucose, glucocorticoid, and they are negatively affected by amino acid arginine, neurotransmitters, dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, and hormone ghrelin. And this ghrelin directly can affect anterior pituitary, uh, by positive uh, effect uh, or positive feedback and apart from thyroid hormone and glucocorticoid also stimulate the release of uh, growth hormone. So these are the complex mechanism for the release of growth hormone. Now its effect on protein metabolism. 
So growth directly enhance transport of most amino acids through the cell membrane to the interior of the cell. And the cell protein, uh, amino acid participate in the protein synthesis. And at the same time, it also stimulates transcription of DNA trans and increases RNA translation. And overall, it in enhances the synthesis of protein in the cells and at the same time it inhibits the protein degradation or protein catabolism so that uh, this protein is not utilized for energy purposes and uh, for that purpose fatty acids are utilized effect of growth hormone on fat metabolism so this has ketogenic effect ketogenic effect gh causes release of fatty acid from adipose tissue and thereby increasing the concentration of fatty acids in the body fluids gh enhances conversion of fatty acids to acetyl coenzyme a and its subsequent utilization for energy which you know how it does acetyl coenzyme a participate in citric acid cycle and that way it increases the lean body mass because fat storage are getting depleted and at the same time protein synthesis is occurring so your muscle mass is increasing or lean body mass is increasing uh, while uh, fat mass is decreasing and if the growth hormone is uh, having more effect on the fatty acid, so more quantity of acetoacetic can be formed and that will be released into the body fluid and will cause the ketosis, ketosis and at the same time it can cause fatty liver also in which uh, fat deposition occur in the uh, liver. Carbohydrate metabolism under the effect of the uh, growth hormone. So what happens? This decreases glucose uptake in tissues such as skeletal muscle and fat and at the same time it increases glucose production by the liver and it also increases insulin secretion so it is a kind of uh, causing the insulin resistance which is like insulin concentration is increased but it is not helping in the glucose uptake by the cells so this this is the purpose of increasing the insulin secretion is to uh, increase the amino acid transport which we saw in earlier lectures also that uh, along with the growth hormone uh, insulin is causing the increasing the amino acid uh, absorption into the cell and that these amino acids are utilized for the protein synthesis and they spare the carbohydrate uh, you required for the energy.